Thank you for volume, Dad. Yes. My volume's never up on this. We always start videos every week with the same thing, don't we? No, I have I'm live now, but it's safe because nobody's watching. Oh no, Dawn Aldred is. Hello, Dawn. And Susan done it. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Right. Yeah. Oh, nobody wants to see that. Evening, Maxine. Evening, Sandra. I've got to say, Sandra, I was on a call earlier, video call earlier, and the person I was on to went, oh, that dog behind you is amazing, and I had to bring it down and show them because they just loved it, so thank you for that. Again, Margaret, Janet McGrath, Moira Barrett. I'm just reading out names now at random, aren't I? So, hello, 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 YouTube, if you're watching on YouTube. We have got YouTube as well, again. It's fascinating. One day I must do... Hi, Sam, you are right, babe? Um, I must make sure... Must put a camera on my head so you can actually see all the bits that are around. <laughs> it's like technology everywhere. Sam sat opposite me like a director with his laptop out, checking everything and making sure everything's okay. Good evening, Wendy. Right. Make sure you say that's my picture. Sorry, there are major. Oh, we have discovered earlier there are issues with Facebook. We couldn't click to join anyone in the group and all sorts of things, could we? And click on things. So fa Facebook, I wish they would stop. They seem to change it every week to something else. So if you are having problems, we checked all of our stuff here. It's fine. But I wouldn't be surprised with the way that Facebook is going at the minute. As well explaining what's oh, yeah, because you watch everyone's videos, don't you? Sam watches literally what everyone's up to. He absolutely loves it. He gets so many different ideas for his own crafting. You don't really get a chance to make any more, do you, during Craft Cave? Because he's on his computer. So, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Craft Cave Live. It is 7.01, which is scary. Did you change your password to um, Facebook? No. Oh, a long, long time ago. It's not the Stella, is it? No. Perhaps we shouldn't say that out loud. Well, it's not the Stella. <laughs> I can't remember. It's all linked to mine. Use my, uh, use my laptop. No, I can't. Okay. So, good evening, everyone. <laughs> Ooh, I've had my first finger warning of the evening. <laughs> so, what I'm going to be doing tonight is a little bit different. I know we wouldn't normally do this, but I'm going to try and bang through three cards. But what we're doing is this is something new, and we, we sorted this out months ago, didn't we, Sam? It's about three, four months ago. And we were asked by Create and Craft if we would um, select one of the dies from the Christmas range and let them put it into the Create and Craft magazine um, as a sort of exclusive in there. So the die I'm going to be using tonight will be launching or is launched on in the Create and Craft Club Members magazine. So it will at the moment only be available from there. Um, Anita Cottrell, will the essential card always be available? As far as we're going to try to, obviously we have to wait for gaps and things and, you know, if, if a particular colour runs out and things like that. So, um, but yes, the, the intention is to try and make sure it's at least a lot available for a long time because if I say always, it's, it, it's a, a ridiculously long time. Nicola Leishman said, we all join in for craft tiffs, but more so for the banter between the two of you. To be honest, I think more people tune in to hear me and Sam bicker than anything else, don't they, Sammy? Yeah. Yes, bless him, poor monkey. Right, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I am going to be using that die tonight. So, um, this is the die. I've sort of spread it out. I, I've, I'm always, I feel like I always say this. I love this one. This one is one of those that we were up and down, and I would just thought... I personally love it just for this little die on its own, which is the actual twig wreath. Um, this is a great thing. Now, thankfully, unfortunately, only myself and Helen have been able to play with this die because obviously we had to do, I had to do all the bits to go in the magazine like four months ago because it takes so long to produce. So the Create and Craft magazine will be out um, we're hoping next week, is it, digitally it's and... It was meant to launch today, but it's actually being posted out next week. Yeah, so we think it's coming out next week. Um, so just check Sammy's okay, because he's got a look on his face that says everything's going wrong. What's the matter? Yeah, sure, I'll fix it. Have uh, you fixed the it? The essential card is not double-sided. No. The essential card is the same colour all the way through. So, in fact, it is that way. Oh, but obviously, the pattern is on the top because it's a very soft pattern. But that's what that die cut does. That die does that beautiful twig wreath. And I absolutely love it. So, I'll put some samples out here. 
Um, it'd be really fun to sort of say, can anyone guess whose is whose? But this is the video that will be going out tomorrow. Is that right, Sammy? Sometime, I've not had a chance Sometime to tomorrow, yeah. because I only filmed it about half an hour ago. <laughs> so the video will be out on YouTube tomorrow, showing you how to make this card. So I'll show the YouTube people and show everybody. So we'll show you how to make that one, we'll even show you how to make the background. It's so, so easy. Um, this, then I've got a selection. This one is one of Sammy's. I love that. I might have to put that on no, a card for you. Better. But I love your other one better. This is Sammy's. And look how clever he's been and how beautiful he's made that. You added some new things that aren't even out yet. Oh, I have. Yeah, sorry. You no, no, See, don't, do don't look at the sentiment. That's me. <laughs> but I just love that. And all he's used is the fr one frame die, one of the circles and the, the twig wreath. But I think that just looks so classic and floating panel. Yeah, so again, from Helen using the frame at the back and the outside. Love this one, Helen. Really, really do. You know, using the little twig wreath and then the little poinsettias and a new flower that's not out yet, sorry. Um, using the bow because it would, and it will make a beautiful frame for the bell if you've got that. So, um, but just to show you a few examples, I'm gonna try and make a few tonight because obviously at the moment there's not a show on it. I mean, we, we may, you know, in the future do a show on it yeah, at some point. It, um, it may be added on to something, but obviously that's at least, for, at least a month down the line, isn't yeah. it, I think? Um, so at the moment, it's only available on their website and through the magazine. But I, and I normally don't do this, but Sam's given me the figures. The die set is sixteen ninety nine, but if you're a club member, because it's a club special, it's thirteen fifty nine because they've given twenty percent club discount. Yes, but the postage event has also carried on, which no one knew about. Yeah, we didn't know about that until we watched tonight. And there's Margaret's box launching on Sunday. Oh yeah, so Sam's saying wait if so, you can. If you're not a freedom member. You throw, wait yeah, if you're going to get Margaret's box, throw it in there. Because there's plenty of stuff. Yeah, there. but I will, I'll be showing you Margaret's box later. Look. I think this is Leslie's. If this is yours, Leslie or Helen, whoever's made this one, let me know because there's no name on it. Beautiful. So, what I'm going to do is, what shall I start with, Sammy? The frame or the... You prepped. I prepped, and which is most unusual. So let's pull some bits in. Let's pull some bits in and let's start. So, <laughs> what I thought I'm going to do is I'm going to do something with the wreath. It's and that's what I want to do. It was Leslie. I thought it was Leslie. Um, so, I'm going to start by making the wreath now. Really simple. Because I've not pulled the light colour of card out. Here's me getting all organised. I just got too excited. So, this is a piece of the linen card in craft, but you could use craft card on this. It does look lovely when you do it with the... Um, um, coconut white and the grey. Sam's just genuinely have to say that to me quite a lot. Use your words when I get stuck and lose. So, Samantha Hughes has ordered hers. So's Maureen, so's Nicola. Sorry, guys. But by doing it this way, it's it's the best price you'll get it, isn't it? Twenty, you won't get if it goes on if it goes on TV or something, you won't get twenty percent club discount, will you? No, because it's only for a limited time. No, it's only a limited time offer. I never thought of that. Yes, it'll only be for three or four weeks. Yeah. And by the time it goes on TV, it'll be a different price. Be yeah, different. if it does. So what I've done is I've cut the wreath. Yeah. And I, I love this. I mean, I just think it's so simple. So I want to start with something quite clean and simple. So I've cut the wreath. And what I've done is I've already cut it as well in this darker brown colour. And I'm going to offset the two because when you've got a wreath that's made of sort of twigs and things. Um, all the examples we've made, Debbie, are on six inch and seven inch. Glenda Hill ordered hers yesterday. I feel really bad when people say that. Oh, they've ordered it or whatever. You know me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the brown one. I've said six inch and seven inch. There's nothing over seven inches. So these, I think, of Helen's are six inch square. This one of Sammy's is a seven inch. Yeah. So I've just spray glued the brown, the dark brown. 
Oh, we are going to give one of the dies away tonight. Unpackaged. Does the wreath fit around your snow globe die? It should do, Kath. It was designed to make sure that it should. Can never say for 100%. But, yes, I do. The same size as fit in my head all the time. So, oh, that would look lovely around the snow globe die, wouldn't it? Just this little wreath. That would really change it. So, if you notice, there's a repeating pattern. Really hard to see. So, all I do is I literally just turn it anywhere. And that way, I kind of get the twigs that are twisting in and out of each other. So, to me, it looks more like an actual wooden one. Oh, winger, winger stamps. Finger stamps would look great with that. That's a really good idea, Andrea. Thank you. So, yeah. So, all I've done is I've cut it twice and then I've overlapped it. So, it gets it looks more wooden to me. I mean, again, you could put normal flowers on this and use it all year. So, what I've then done is I've taken a piece of essential, Craft Artist Essential card in white, in coconut white. And I'm just going to roughly place the die again in the middle and cut a white one out. This is to give me the aperture I want. Now, there is an aperture, there are circles to cut it, to, to map this onto. But, I've got to be honest, I'm running it through my Kaleido, by the way, guys. I've noticed Nicola, Leishman says she's been trying, revisiting older dies with new. I've noticed Nicola, they're beautiful. Love the mix. But I, I don't actually want a perfect circle. I want the circle to match the wreath because I'm going to drop it back in. So I'm going to give this a little spray with, again, craft mount because everybody asks every time. And I'm going to add a little bit of acetate on the back. And I, it's something I don't do very often, this, and I love this. This is a great thing to do with dyes, <laughs> is to actually drop the, create an aperture with the same dye, change the colour and drop a piece back in. So you see now, I can put that in and it will just fit and it kind of floats and it just makes a really nice, clean, neat aperture. So I'm just going to spray glue this. Oh, you're going to give that one away, Sam? No, I don't know how you're going to package that. that. Sam's giving you a beautiful card. Actually, wouldn't the sunflowers look lovely on here, mm -hmm. on this wreath? If you've got the sunflowers, Helen, if once you're back from your mum's up, she's okay, um, you want to make one of these and put little sunflowers on it. There's a tip for you, or anyone else. Because I, I can say that because I know Helen Bless has got it, so... Okay, so you can see now we've got that wreath floating. I'm going to show you one that I decorated earlier. But can you see just how nice that looks? So I'm going to show you how I decorated the wreath. So I've got another one here. Look at this, me prepped. Now, because I'm using brown colours, I'm going to swap my thing over. So you'll see it better in the pink. And then I'm just going to bring in some little bits I've already cut. So in the die, you get these little collections of holly. Two holly leaves, one going left, one going right. Two um, sort of fir leaves going left and right. You get two sets of the... So you get two sets of the um, leaves, don't you? Sammy's telling me where to get it. You right. like the, the edge I know. Of the and I know because that's why I put the mat there as well. You get two of those, don't we? But we lost one, didn't we? Of the little. The pink, the pink is upside down. It says Crafts 2 upside down. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, you get. You get the outer frame. So, you get the outer frame, you get the circle. The circle, the other bit. The wreathy bit. Yeah. yeah. Another, another circle. Yeah. Steering trees. Yeah. Two little berries. Yeah. So it's two of those. Two holly. Two holly. Two of the... Fur. Yeah. And two of the... Blobby holly. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I don't know right. And the inner bit. Right. Okay. So what I've actually done is I've already cut some of these pieces. So all I've simply done is cut each of the die twice. So I've cut them, cut them once in field green. This is all craft artist card. 
once each in apple green. And then I've cut, and I nicked this idea from Sam on his beautiful card here. Um, I'd never have thought of doing the holly in white and it just really brightens it. It's almost like you don't need a flower. So I've cut the holly in white. So I'm gonna use a little bit of pin flare glue gel. Glue gel. Oh, we all misplaced dyes, Nicola. I've lost loads over the years. I lost one of the little berries. And well, I hadn't told them it was you that lost the berries. I pretended it was me, but oh, Sam's I just admitted it. it. Now he lost it, not me. I lost it. Sammy lost it. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue gel and on one corner randomly just spread it out. And then I'm just gonna place the foliage on. You can use your normal PVA. I'm using the glue gel because that's what I'm actually gonna to use to pop the wreath on. So I'm just literally playing with colors and opposing them, if that makes sense. Let's come in a bit closer on this if I can. There we go. I did my own zoom, Sammy. So if all I'm doing now is just folding the holly in half, because it's got a deboss line on it, so it will naturally, if you just pinch it like this, it'll naturally fold on that line. And it gives it a really nice curve. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue gel on the back of those. And I don't know what it is with me. I love threes. I love odd numbers. But Holly, I always draw in threes. I'm terrible with it. So I'm just going to put a little selection of white Holly in, which I know sounds unusual, but we can use whatever colours we want. There we go. And then you could either cut the berries. What I've actually used are not out yet. And I know I keep using these, but they will be out soon, I promise. Julie, Julie Taylor's asked, she's on both requests on the group. You're already in the group. Julie, you're already in the group. You don't have to request again. You're already in the group, darling. So here we go. I'm and, just putting th you can comment. three of those on. There we go. So can you see, I've got that beautiful little, just spray. And I love a die set that you don't have to use anything else. I've not, on any of the samples I'm making, I'm not actually using anything else. To me, just that at the top of a tall card with a little bit of ribbon hanging down would be beautiful. Or with the little bells from the bow bells hanging on it. Wouldn't that look nice? But you don't have to use anything else. So I'm just going to move that one to one side because obviously that needs to dry. But I have got one here that's already dry. And what I'm going to do is, as a final piece, I'm going to add that on, but with a little bit of glue gel. I mean, I could you could just pop it in flat like that. But if I'm going to go for height, I might as well go for a little bit of height. So the best time to buy the dye is Sunday at 3pm when the you Mar press cut launches Margaret's yeah box launches if you want Margaret's pop box if you don't want Margaret's pop box yeah or you're worried about missing out but we don't want to be one of those people who's constantly constantly encouraging you to oh buy now buy now no yeah. no it's very unusual for us to even mention price or anything but I just because yeah, this is an exclusive, is exclusive I wanted to be fair um, and it's not the normal exclusive where it'll pop up in shops in three, um, you know, in three days or whatever, four days or whatever it's it is. Unlikely it'll pop in two times. Yeah, it is. It's been done for the magazine as an exclusive. So I've taken another square of card, yeah, in the same size, and I've just cut the central piece out. And again, it's a new um, thing. So this will fit in, hopefully, like your snow globe and your baubles and things. I think it might be too big for baubles. Yeah, I, I think that's... You got I don't know if I've got baubles there. Baubles might be. Is there a box over there that says Samples 2022? One of the thin, third shelf down on the left at the, one of the really useful boxes. No, it's a really useful box, long one. That's what they, that's where they are. 
Got Samples 2022. Third shelf there. Well, I don't see that. I'm tall. You are tall, actually. Thank you very much. Honestly, he is tall. He's five foot six. I'm not. <laughs> and the bit makes all the difference. There we go. Let's just try it. Do, 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 do. Oh, you were right, Sammy. Yeah, it's just a bit too big. Sorry. But what I've done is I've cut out that bit just from normal, the same sort of craft coloured card. So you can see now we've got a little seam through if we want. So we can just get kind of then pop that onto a white card blank and we can drop our little piece on. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of height. So I'm gonna put some foam tape on the back, but you could leave it just clean and simple. I am gonna do a clean and simple one in a second as well, exactly the same layout, just to show you the difference. Because I love something when we can actually do, you know, we can do those. This to me is, this is one of those acquaintance cards, if that makes sense. It's one of those cards you send to your friends. Perhaps not, you know, it's not a bin man card. It's not a quick, simple work card. But then you can make a simple version of it. I missed the start of your video. Who's that one? And how much is the Eid? I love that. The Eid, the Eid of March. That's like me. I send people messages replying to due, and I mean die. I'm terrible. I'm not at all. I'm not very good when it comes to typing. Well, yes, we um, are. I think everybody's what got used to that by now. So we've just got that beautiful little seam through. Yeah. And then that could literally go onto a white square. It could go onto a green square. You could go on, you could make a coloured background. But I think it's nice to see the simplicity of it. So all I'm actually going to do on this one is I'm going to take a 7 by 7 card blank. And I'm just going to put it on. Can you see when I do that, I see there's a little bit of brown poking out. So undercut by tilting my scissors. We'll do that. A little bit of foam tape. The Club Craft Club. It's the Crate and Craft Club. And it's the Club Magazine. Is that right, Sammy? Yeah. But in there, there's also a feature on it. And there are, is there three or four step-by-steps? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Um... Uh, we, we've done four and we offered five, but the editor was very difficult to deal with. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, she's extremely, diff extremely difficult to deal with. If anyone wants to come to me, you come to me. Yeah. Um, mm. But uh, yeah, so, but there are step by step instructions and photographs of at least three projects, if not four. I think it's four from the Susan says it's not the typing, but it's predictive text. Even if you turn predictive text off, I'd still get it oh, wrong, Susan. I'm sure that's not you, but. But I know it seems weird, right? I can see again a little bit of brown, so I'm going to trim it out. Let's not spoil it. So I'm just going to drop that on. I love the classic simplicity of this. And then I'm going to take a little bit more glue gel. I love glue gel. I do at the minute. You're the one who got me into it. Yeah, but hot glue just... Hot... Sam just told me, stop using hot glue for hot things. Glue um, yeah. I did burn myself a lot. So I'm just putting a few little bits on around. And then I'm going to take my wreath and drop it on. And I would leave that, obviously, to dry. But hopefully that shows, and you can see there, simple, clean. And I think really, you know, really effective. It doesn't, sometimes we don't need anything more. Sometimes we just need something simple. So that is project number one. So I did say what I will do is, because I've got another piece made. This time I'm just going to drop this, the one we've just made in. So a little bit of spray glue on the back. So pin flare. 
Yeah. Is there anyone from literally every Oh, everywhere. Country Art of Craft there. everywhere has it, but don't they? if you ever go to a show. show where she's at... Oh, she does amazing prices. That's when we buy it. Cheaper. Yeah. It would make a beautiful shaker card. It would. So, this time, I've just got a little 6 by 6 Actually, no, I haven't. I've got a 5 by 5 card blank, which is not what I meant to do. So, I'm going to take a 7x7 seven seven and cut it down. I forgot I haven't got 6x6 six six in here. No, I haven't got 6x6. Six six so, I'm just going to cut it down to 6x6. Six six. Okay. And I'm literally just going to flat mount it on as one of those cards that you could send. Yeah? So, just being a little bit careful. Thank you again. I've forgotten the lady's name who made me my glue thing. I've used it every day. Is it Siobhan? Now, I'm gluing acetate, so biggest tip I'll give you when you're gluing acetate, take your finger and smear your glue. It means you've got an increased surface area and it'll grab quicker. When you give a big line, it's got nowhere to dry, so it takes ages. No, we don't have a shop. We don't retail. We don't retail, we don't sell. Then there's never a conflict of interest. What we do is we demo, as I was saying to a friend earlier, I was talking to, we genuinely believe in making sure we've got plenty of demos and we show you what to use things for. That's what we do. We don't do things to sell it. So, but you can see there, just very clean and simple. I, I genuinely, I don't even think that needs a sentiment. You could put a sentiment in. You could wait till the 11th of September and put peaceful Christmas in. Someone can shout at me for that. Or put one of the big words in. But... You know, very simple. So two different projects using exactly the same techniques. But those would be lovely sent to work. Or just put a little bit of thingy. I know you mentioned the baubles and they don't fit. Do the baubles words fit? Bauble words. I'm not sure what you mean by bauble words. You might have to reiterate that one. Michelle. Yeah, Michelle. Oh, anything. she's only just come back from Ireland, so I know she'd messaged me earlier. I think she's, yeah, you're not connecting like I don't have sometimes. I always say Brian's gone on holiday, which is what I call the thing in my head, because it's certainly not a brain, it's a Brian. So two very simple ones. You could put a little bit of glue in there, joy, you know, peace, whatever. Yeah, they would fit. Again, they might be a little bit big. Oh, peace, joy, etc. Yes. Oh, they would work beautifully, wouldn't they? They would work. Yeah, the peace, joy. Oh, what a nice idea. But again, all designed to fit together. So I thought now we'd probably do one a little bit more complicated. Okay. <laughs> Sammy's giggling. Should we do the giveaway, Sammy? Oh, we haven't thought of a question, can you? Yeah, I'll tell you, you can do what you want. I can't think of a question. <laughs> I know, but I can't think of a question. I know, simple one. We've produced this die, so we will choose a winner at the end of the show, and that's a live prize. You will win. Actually, do you want to pass us the bot, the packet? Sam's already packaged it up, but there's a beautiful sunflower card, massive in there, plus a full free sample of this die. It's exactly the same, except it won't be packaged. So the winner will get that at the end of the show. And the question is, we've done this die, or released this die exclusively for which club? So, everyone, just answer in the comments and we will pick one out at random. So, which club have we done this die set? The Christmas Twig Wreath. Is that what it's called, Sam? Yeah. Yes. Because I name them but forget. So, what I'm doing this time is I've got, I've cut my card down again. Let's check the measurement it is. I've done it to five and a half. Okay. So, I've cut this. This is apple. This is field, yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the outside frame die and the next die down, the first, the first circle die. Take a long piece of tape, pick it up, get it nice and even, and then get it even 
on your frame and I'm going to cut that through in my Kaleido. Again, if anyone's, don't forget to answer the question, but if anyone's got any questions, please feel free to pop them in. Have we had anything I've missed, Sammy? I don't know. Is yours just frozen again? We are running two cameras doing videos in here. Um, a laptop and, my, and an iPad, aren't we, to get all this technology to make it work so that we can see comments and so that we can broadcast it right and things, honestly. I don't know what we did before all of this. So I'm just going to pop this one off. I just cut this in my Kaleido. Every die in the set fits through the Kaleido. But I, I love this frame. I've got a thing about pine branches. It seems to be pine branches and stags pop in every year somewhere. I mean, Sam does say to me, oh, not another one of those. But I try and do them in different ways. But No more tags is what I've said. No more tags is what Sam said. Yeah, because today, yesterday, I was drawing the next box kit, wasn't I? <laughs> so, but I just love that. So you've got a really, really fine circle all the way around. Yeah. And what I'm going to do next is... Oh, how can you do it? Who has? How can, has she? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Well done. Oh, Harkin, well done. You probably pronounce it right. It's probably me that gets it wrong. Harkin and a har. R in it, but no, but a H and an A always goes a har sound to me. I don't mm. know. You need to correct us and let us know how to say it properly. A whole week, bless. Oh, you're quite ahead of me. That's only just come through. My mind so, just went. Yeah. Like, okay. okay. Now. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to cut a circle in this, but I don't want to cut it in at the same time. And the reason is I want the circle to be perfectly sized and I don't want to try and guess it. So what I'm doing first is cutting the die, just the frame, this time into apple. What's that? Nicola, got to love Facebook, stops her adding comments unless she refreshes. It's not us. Oh, it's Harkin. Oh. Harkin. Uh, 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 oh, Hawken. 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 Yeah. Hawken. Oh, I like that. And she's got some tests, so hopefully that will sort it out for you. Hawken. Sounds Norwegian. That's yeah, I had a lot of Norwegian friends when I lived in Spain, and it's similar to the sort of how they pronounce a lot of their names. Not that I can remember now, because obviously I've slept since then. Oh, Julie Taylor's going into a hospital next Thursday for operation. I hope it goes all right, Julie. And I hope you're getting on all right with all your treatment, Julia. Julia Gales. So, I've cut the frame this time. Now, obviously, I can offset, but I don't want to. What I can do is rotate 90 degrees. And can you see there, then, I'm mixing the colours. So I'm kind of getting a four one. Oh, it's Old Norse and they didn't have a W. Oh, that's fascinating. Ruth Woods found out she's got severe arthritis in her right hand. Oh, what are they, are they injecting the gold or is it? Yeah, so I, can't get I know. That's like your brother-in-law. Aww. Aww. We won't fuck. We'd do that. Bless him. Hello, little Sandra's dog. I'm not dog. I'm the one who said, and you were the one who said, it would, it would, a dog, we would love a dog. We genuinely would. We are both dog people. But I like my holidays. Too. But unfortunately, we like our holidays too much. And I mean, my car, and I wasn't very well. So the shows I've done this week on Crank and Craft, Sam had to run me down and stay for two days, which, to be honest, I paid for yesterday in spades. Um, but um we can't do we can't live our life and we'd let people down if we couldn't do things because of the dog bless him oh god shaz has got 17 oh, puppies god. well we can always foster a couple of puppies for a week or two sam's looking at me as if i'm completely gone out so you can see now so i've got a choice i could take the circle die and drop it back in yeah, or I could take the 
the smaller die and drop that back in. And that's actually what I'm going to do. So that's why I wanted to cut it later was so that I got a different look. So I'm just going to cut that. So I'm just running that through my Kaleido. Kaleido. You need a one-eyed beagle. No, Bonnie's fine where she is. Oh, Shaz says she'll pop them up. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> you would never see them. You wouldn't ever see them again, Shaz. You really wouldn't. Sam would, um, yeah, Sam would literally just have a puppy bath. The first time ever he would get into the bath, because you too tall, aren't you, really, for it. He would get in the bath and just pour the puppies on and play with them. <laughs> Oh, daughter moved home with two cats. And guess who's taking year out after four years at uni? And now we have two cats. Oh, oh yeah. they're Springer Spaniels. No, I had a Springer Spaniel when I was little. He was called Ben. He was lovely. Oh, bless. So you can see now, a little bit different. Trying to make it a little bit more modern. But so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop this on a little bit of white just to give it contrast. So again, spray glue. I am genuinely making this one up. Harkon means chosen sun and Kex is Turkish for Phoenix. So it means chosen sun risen from the ashes of my old life. I like that. Oh, sorry, Miss old life as a female. I like that. I think that's a really good way of doing it. What a nice name. Oh, Samantha Hughes, I've told Dave we're not going abroad while Maggie is here. Enough beautiful place to lose England. There is. There's, there's, a, there's only one reason why we... To be fair, we do like... If you've seen the magazine, you know we like to cruise. The main reason is that mobile phone signals don't work on ships most of the time. So, me being a workaholic, it means that I can't work, doesn't it? And it's the only time I don't. So, that's one of the reasons we go on those sort of holidays. <laughs> Leslie Lakin can so see that card in her usual black and gold. Oh, it would look beautiful in black and gold, Leslie. Oh, nice, yeah. I think that's a wonderful idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the white out of the middle. I'm just playing with the different dies in the set. So dropping the die back in, a little bit of tape, and then I'll run that one through again. We're turning very gossipy today. Oh, she has all her puppies back when the owners go away. Oh. Oh, what a lovely idea. See, we could do that, Sammy. <laughs> We've got friends who constantly push us about getting a beagle, so. Yeah, the keelers. The keelers, if you are, well, I'm watching. Why can I see in black to the side for a spider? A spider? I've no idea. You've completely lost us, Deborah Horton. So you can see now, so they can stay with family. Just had our daughter's Jack Russell puppy. Oh, yeah, you see, Jackie, you're going to have to get one, aren't you? But remember earlier, you know I don't like waste. I We had to cut a white one out to make our aperture. So look at the difference. When I drop that white in, to me... Oh, the sprigs to the sides as legs. That would be really oh. good. I should Have I got Janice on the show? I should do that just for Janice. Yeah, got Nigel, <laughs> I've got Nigel. Got Nigel uh, but you see how that brings it together, suddenly that white. Or take it away. It looks quite... It doesn't work to me. That green is too strong. When I put the white in, suddenly, can you see, it seems to all settle down. Maybe it's just me, but that's what I see. So I'm just going to put the little twig wreath in, drop that in. So you can see now we've got a little sort of window view through. And what I want to do is I'm going to show you how we made the panel that's sort of floating inside a card. So... What I'm going to do is I need to use a square die. So I'm using one of the PCD squares. But you could do this with a knife or with another square. Oh, with the spider legs on the side, it could be made into a Halloween card. That's a really interesting subject because we were discussing this earlier, weren't we, Sam? How we 
I don't know anyone who makes Halloween, makes or sends Halloween cards. I know it's very big in America, but I don't know anyone who makes and sends them here in Britain. So if you make and send Halloween cards, let us know. Because I'd love to know. So what I've done is I'm choosing a die that fits within the borders. I'm hoping that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, Leslie is. Oh, well, we knew you are, Leslie. You don't count, Leslie. You don't count. You're a professional. <laughs> Leslie's got a brilliant show with... Is it Larry Hugs? Fairy Hugs. With Fairy Hugs. Um, Halloween. Halloween show with some beautiful stamps. Oh, puppy's just lost his baby okay. tooth. growing up too quickly. Oh, I do decorations for my house. Now, I can see decorations for the house because I've been trying to convince Sam for the last four years to let me have a pumpkin. So I think you should all you should all private no, message no, Sam and no, tell him no, let no. John have a pumpkin. No, because everyone knows that I speak the truth at times. So yeah, go on, do it anyway. Oh, I know loads are doing Halloween cards now, Julie, but I've not met anyone. I've not nobody's actually told me they do it. Hubby makes sure the lights are all off and the blinds are drawn when it's Halloween. No trick and treaters. Yeah. That's Sammy. That's me, Dan. Yeah. So I've chosen a square die, yeah, that is inside that frame. I've got a seven by seven card blank and I'm just going to tape the die down to the front evenly. Okay. And then, because it's seven by seven, I need to use my big machine. But I'm just going to, I mean, notice what I'm doing is using one of the template sheets to stop my plates marking it, because my plates really heavily mark it, even though, bless him, Sam cleaned them for me, didn't you, last week? A couple oh, of weeks ago. He put them in the dishwasher and weighted them down. I bet Sam will dress up as a pumpkin for you, John. Shaz, you really don't know Sammy at all. <laughs> How do you feel about fancy dress, Sam? Yeah, we, we were supposed to be going, I wasn't very well to a party on Saturday, and we couldn't because I was ill. And it was an 80s party. I'd got an adamant costume. Sam had got a Choose Life George Michael t-shirt. That was it. That's all he was going to wear with some jeans. See, Ruth's laughing. And Leslie's laughing with Shaz, obviously. Because they know what he's like. So now I've got an aperture card. So never waste money on buying an aperture card. Oh, Hawken. Um, Cocker Spaniel's already saved a life by waking him up. When he was having an asthma attack. He also brings David his G and T spray or EpiPen when required. Oh, that's good. That's really good. When they, they help, that's amazing. I know that Maggie is a support dog for um, Samantha's, oh, yeah. isn't she? So, so you see now, I've got an aperture. So don't buy an aperture card. Make it. So, you know, you could start cutting into it, but it would make such a mess. So it's better. So all I'm going to do is, I mean, we could even go that way and frame it. Oh, I'm wondering whether to change it now, Sammy. Change it, so it's on the inside. I think I prefer that, actually. Yeah, so I'll change where I'm going to do it. I'm going to use power tape because I don't want it to come off. I don't want it to get wrecked. So I'm just using power tape. This is before we start his training as a disability assistant dog. That's brilliant. That's one thing I do love about the group. We do a lot of crafting, but we do, you know, we have a bit of a gossip as well, don't we? Yeah. It's not just all gossip. It's all, it's all relative. It's all relative. Yeah. So. That's all right. Sammy was watching something the other day and it was like one hour 20 and no crafting was done at all, was it? Oh, my God. I oh, know he was—he was literally pulling his hair out. He's watching, waiting for the demonstration to start, and it never did. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I know sometimes I have a preconceived idea, and sometimes we do. But literally, what I'm doing at the minute is I cut card to five and a half inches, and I'm—I am making it up as you go along. We can do that. To me, that's the value of a good die, and I'm not saying just about mine. That's not fair. That's the value of every die that's good, is you can just play. So all I'm doing now is I've got to place it in to get it nice and even. 
So I need to make sure I'm happy. So I'm taking, there we go. So now we've got a beautiful apple. Hang on. Nicola Leeson, it's the extended family you never knew you had being in this group. Do you know I think it is? And unlike families, Sam's very careful and guards who gets in. <laughs> You're wrong. Oh we don't allow anybody being thingy. Oh, oh Ruth's missed us because she's normally out on a Wednesday night. So, Sam's giving me the, ooh, wind it up time because he's looking at the time. Oh, Do you want to flick through the comments and pick a winner? Card, the okay. Card, <laughs> Everyone's howling with laughter. It's, but no, it's a good oh, Maureen Nunn's border collie attracted her attention when her husband was having a stroke. So I've lost the comments for a minute, guys, so I can't see what we're saying. So, I mean, I really like that. We could just put something, you know, simple in there. Yeah, we could... Sorry? Because of, it, no. Is it not flicking back? No. So we'll have to tag the person who wins after. We will have to tag the winner after the show. I'm really sorry. Because is it not flicking back? No, Facebook not. is, oh, yeah, look, it won't let us go backwards. Let me see if I can refresh Sam's going to try and refresh and see if he can. Um, but, yeah, sorry, guys. We normally flick back and then just press our finger on it. So I could put the centre in. But I actually like that as it is. So all I'm going to do is use some more of the foliage. But this time, we were going off. This time, I'm going to fill these areas. So I'm just going to sort of almost fill it together. But I'm going to do it from here. So again, a little bit of pin flare because I've got it in front of me. Facebook's a real pain, Delsa. It's one of the reasons why we've started going live on YouTube, isn't it, Sam? So if it messes up, so if it messes up at least we know that it's on and it will stay on YouTube. And the people, of course, who don't use Facebook. And yeah, and there are people who don't use Facebook or people that don't want to join the group or aren't in the group. Or have been banned from the group. Or have been banned from the group from Sam. There's several reasons why. Yeah. We won't go into No. Sales. So I'm just going to, if we can announce a winner, we will try. We are still trying, guys. It's just not working. No. Well, I thought I had it then, but it's clearly not working. So I'm just almost alternating the colours. I'm hoping that makes sense. Yeah. So I'm just alternating the colours. So where it was the dark green, I'm putting the light green and light green where it was the dark green and, and vice versa. So we'll do that. And we'll pop that one in. So you can see now we're just building, we're just building it up. And again, the same with the holly. So just fold it in half. Literally, it's just pinching it. Sneak peeks, no. Who's asking for sneak peeks? Oh, Leslie. She wants a sneak peek of her box again, doesn't she? An album loaded on. Of what the of for what for Sunday? Might be tomorrow or Friday. There might be a thing for. So all I'm doing is keeping almost to, to me. I'm I've got in really into this three color thing, but I'm just keeping everything in those three colors and alternating. So that's 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 field. So the next one's apple. So the top layer would be, of course, field to me. So we've got apple, field. So this top layer, remember, pinch the holly. I don't emboss them. It just automatically happens. So I'm just going to, I'm just basically rotating around. And not putting them in, in any set way. So again, finish off the last one. Oh, Robbie Scott, uh, she's away at the moment. Oh, where are you? Anywhere nice, Robbie? Yeah, anywhere nice. Yeah. I feel like a hairdresser. So where are you going for your holidays this year? <laughs> we're, we're going to Croatia. We're going to Croatia quite soon, aren't we? 40-something 40, 40 days. 40-something days for my 40th birthday. 40th birthday. 
I keep saying that. People might believe no, me. No, they won't, Jonathan. They might do. I won't tell you what one of the buyers said. No, go on. 50, 60? <laughs> oh, no. Which one was that? Was that Jack? Yes. Jess. I was like howling. I was like, nice one, Jess. Oh, I'll make her pay for that. So, just adding the holly on. Oh, Max has also put out a workshop, hasn't she, today? Oh, she has. Yes, the next Zoom workshop. Maxine started taking bookings. It is limited That's spaces. Jane at the Art of Craft, at the Art of Craft has a Christmas workshop in person. Which I think is the 12th. November? Yeah, we think that's 12th of November. We're not 100% sure. I think. Um, is, did Helen come back to you? Helen. Um, oh, and we've got one in Louth. Did, did you ask her? Or you I didn't, I forgot. Right. But I think, uh, knowing Helen, she's probably... Yeah, she needs to yeah, I need to message Helen and check. So we have another live workshop in Louth, we think, in... The that's when Detling's on, isn't it? October. Yeah. But we don't know if it's... But we're not sure. John will find out. I will find out. So I can do a post. So just going to add a few little beads. I'm, I'm playing now. Too? Sorry? One this. Oh, these. I'm not sure off the top of my head. Soon. Promise. There's different colours as well. Oh, the, the rainbow ones. You've done some cards with those. They're beautiful, aren't they? What? Oh, that one. Did that one. And where's my favourite? Oh, that's it. Oh, the, the flowers. flowers. I love the one with the flowers. Oh, that's the only flowers that yeah. Look, isn't that pretty? Yes, I've booked Can't Wait Afternoon of Crafting and Laughter. Oh, we are going to Brovnik. We're walking the walls, which John's really Oh, I was really, yeah. About. Sam's having to bribe me to walk the walls of Dubrovnik. It's I'm on holiday. I don't want to walk. says, when you go to that you have to walk the walls. The thing is, I'll be okay, and it's Sam will be going, oh, moaning constantly. he will moan, honestly. He will moan like a female and it will be dog, John's fault I was going to say. And it will all be my fault. Had nothing to do with it. Yeah, even though I had nothing to do happy with it. Happy birthday, Leslie. What? Leslie? Leslie? Oh, happy birthday. Whose birthday? Leslie, have I missed your Leslie birthday? Lockwood. Yeah, you have missed Leslie's birthday. Leslie Lockwood, yeah. Yes. And I still keep saying this. Apparently, all the Lockwoods are all related back to one family. Apparently, we're all related back to one family from the West Riding when I looked it up online. Um, in terms of workshops in other locations, it's a case of... The Next retail, year now. Retailers retail need to book us. Book. It's, we don't choose where we go. Retailers book us. So, I absolutely... I wasn't sure where this was going. I absolutely love that. So, I could pop in on the back. No, I like it as it is. Like that. Oh, but... I've got to be honest, I think I quite like it. Yes, you will, lots of Games of Thrones stuff. We've never seen Game of Thrones, no, have we? No, I haven't that, but um, Diane said you must do the walk. Yes. We are doing the walk, it's already been booked. Quite a few packs in Croatia we're doing. Is that? Yes, it's um, Brovnik, Sibonet, Bridlington. Filey, Whitby, Robin Hood's Bay, Blackpool, Skegness, St. Robin Hood's Bay. Yeah. Without, yeah. Yeah, without. I like that. We could just, do you know what would look nice in there? It's a lovely little Kaleido gold sentiment or something. What you should do is you could do a raised circle so it pops out a bit on the card. Yeah. Wouldn't you? So you and can. Your sentiment. Happy birthday or. Yeah. It, it doesn't have to be Christmas. So you've got that white panel which you could. You know, to in the back and you then... Get a sparkling centre. Oh, nice. I think, yeah, you can do this yeah. whatever way you want to. But hopefully, just making those three, although two are very similar, the two are the same effectively, one's just a little bit more complicated, you can see what we can achieve just by using the one die sets. Or the one die set. And I've not I've gone nowhere near using everything that's in there because there's so much in there. Um but I'm really pleased with that. Sam's giving me the I've got to wind it up. So we'll have to pick a winner, we'll have to pick a winner afterwards. We'll have to pick a winner afterwards because Facebook really is playing up. And, we'll and there's back. only seven minutes to repair shop, as and Ruth's also, just told me. My my flat dragon might be on it now, I don't know if it's still going on. 
Oh, what? Your... Oh, Heathrow. Heathrow, yeah. Sam's got fascination with airports and planes like and things. Planes. He really does. So, that's some examples. I'll bring a few more in. I love that one of Sammy's. I really do. And these of Helen's are beautiful. Waterfall card centre, yes. A waterfall card centre. Oh, that would look nice in the green. Yes, who was that? What a lovely idea. Let's look so, it. there's a few different examples of what you can do. And you can see, yes, the words fit exactly in that one don't look at that one because that's not out yet or that one that one's not out yet and the video will go live tomorrow which shows you how to make this one so the video will go live tomorrow it shows you how to make this one yeah so there's plenty of ideas and of course this is all on top of the ones that are in the crate and craft club magazine because in there, there are four, three or four. I mean, I made five, but we'll see. There are three or four at least making the same die set, all of them different. I think they're all using Waterfall Glitter Card, aren't they? Um, yes. Yes. I don't know if it's using the new essential card. It might be the It linen might not card. be. It might be the linen card, but, but I've tried to match colours wherever I can so you can find it in it there. It could be the substitute. Yeah. So um, I will be, that's it for me tonight. Um, I will be back on Crank Craft with a two-hour let lockers loose. With Nigel May. With Nigel May. I'm actually looking forward to it. He's a laugh. He really is. Um, on Sunday at three o'clock. And we'll be using Margit's Pop Box. Brand new. We've actually flown this in. I love this. But if anyone missed out on the Kaleido um, mega, monthly mega deal, it is back on Sunday. But not me. But not many, no, because it went absolutely crazy. And once the machine's gone, the machine's gone. Once the machine's gone, the machine's gone. The Inks and everything else wow. will continue and we will carry on. But this is the last delivery in of the machines. Cool. So for now, do you want to say goodbye?